she understands so that you're under her care, Lord. That, that she's under your care, Lord. And Father, we pray right now that you give her strength and encourage her in the day to lie here. Father, help us to be the lights of the world that you've charged us to be as Christians and as believers, Lord. Father, we pray that all that we do, we do from your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, here we go. Hello, sunshine. We're here to celebrate the life, amen, and the magnificent energy that Sister Cynthia Stoner gives to each and every one of us. And so we today want to come together and show our love to her uh, with, with, with the program that we have put together. Uh, the enemy tried to come back, tried to come against it with this virus pandemic, but we are determined to show our love for Cynthia Stone. And so if you would, join in with us. Feel free to tag and message her. Show her your love as we carry out this program. Uh, right now, I'm gonna ask that um, uh, Minister Valerie Watkins come forth uh, and she's going to give a prayer right after I read this scripture. And the scripture I'm going to read uh, this afternoon is from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hello, sunshine, my shero. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you right now just to say thank you. Father God, we thank you for sin. We thank you for the life she has lived. Father God, we thank you for how many people she's blessed near and far. Father God, we ask you right now just to touch her and strengthen her. Let her feel the love, the compassion that we are going out today. God, we ask you not only to bless Sister Stoner, but bless others, Father God, that are going through as well. Father God, we ask you to touch all the sick and the afflicted. Father God, touch the bereaved and the grieved families all over the land, world, and country. Father God, we ask you right now just to bless everyone that had a part in this program. If they did a video or they brought a t-shirt or they gave a love offer, Father God, we ask you to bless them and their families right now. Father God, we ask you to be with us and stand by us and lead us and guide us. Bless Sister Perry and bring a word like never before today. Father God, and when this program comes to a close, we ask you to give all of us traveling mercy to make it back home safely. And when we get back home, let us find our homes the way we left them. Please don't let the fire have broken out, nor the thieves broken in. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Say, I hope you can hear me. I uh, just wanted to reach out to you. We wanted to surprise you here at Jerusalem Baptist Church where uh, Dr. David L. Bracken is pastor. Uh, we wanted to surprise you, but uh, things happened. Uh, the coronavirus broke out. We have to keep our social distance, so to speak. But the coronavirus can't distance our love and affection that we have for you. Uh, we love you, we admire you, and we appreciate you so much. Uh, and so we hope that you enjoy this. Uh, we, we're trying our best uh, to make you feel the love that you so much deserve. So with that, uh, First Lady is going to come forth with an encouraging word uh, to lift your spirit. Hey, sunshine, I come before you just to say I love you and thank you so much for always being one of the members of the Diva Club. And the Diva Club is only um, only two members, and that's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> just want to let you know what I think of when I think about you and the word Diva. I want to first make you the Diva of the Year. You have the Diva of the Year Award. 
And let me just let you know what Diva really stands for. D is for divine, because you are simply delightful. I is for incredible, all the incredible outfits that you always wear. V is for victorious, because no matter what you've gone through, you always come out on top. A is for an amazing woman. Always, you've always been amazing. You lift the spirits of others. You've touched so many lives. And the S is for a strong, smiling woman. And I just want you to always know that you have touched so many lives and that we love you so much. But we want you to continue to be strong in the Lord, knowing that he cares for you and nothing, I mean nothing, is too hard for God. Trust in him and he will see you through. We love you and always know that I love you too. And congratulations on being the Diva of the Year. Now, Seth, I hope you noticed that everybody's wearing their sunglasses. Uh, the role wore them are wearing them in honor of you. I forgot mine. I left them at the house. Uh, trying to have so much going on, trying to juggle too many hats. Uh, but we just want to again let you know that we love you, we feel you, uh, and we're thinking of you. Uh, along with um, encouraging um, uh, Cynthia Stoner, we don't want to forget that there are others that are going through this ugly uh, battle with this, with, with this ugly disease uh, that we call cancer. And so at this time, we want to honor um, two of our community representatives, um, two of our community representatives uh, as well, because we don't want to think that anybody uh, doesn't notice your battle. So with that, I'm going to present to Tito White, an appreciation plaque, and it reads, an acknowledgement in honor of Tito White for his show of courage in his brave fight against an ugly disease. And so with that, Tito, Tara White, we're thinking about you, we honor you, and we love you. Also, we want to honor and encourage Yvette Bates for her fight against the ugly disease. And so it reads the same, an acknowledgement in honor of Yvette Bates for her show of courage in her brave fight against an ugly disease. And so Pastor Timothy Bates, uh, First Lady Yvette Bates, we see you, we feel you, and we love you. We're encouraging you, and we're trying our best to boost you uh, to carry on through this fight. Also, we have another one for Cynthia Stone. And so with that, um, Seth, we're going to send you yours as well. And, and again, we see you. Uh, and, and, and we're in the fight with you. You're not in this thing by yourself. And so we just want to encourage you. <laughs> At this time, I'm going to ask Ms. O if she would come forth with a uh, poem. Miss Donna, this me, the one and only Miss O. How are you? <laughs> well, I have a poem to give to me to read for you, so please hear me while I read, okay? We know that at times things will be rough, and things and, and being by yourself may be tough. A box of Sunshine was sent your way to help you get through these very bad days. And even though we live in different places, our phone allows you to, to still see our faces. So please, don't hesitate to give us a call. And we promise to be there for you through it all. You have my number. <laughs>
At this time, we're going to have uh, Mayor Barbara Mallet come forth uh, with a resolution, and then after Mayor Barbara Mallet uh, comes with a resolution, we have a uh, doc, um, declaration that was written by Mayor Karen Alexander, which First Lady Bracken is going to read. To God be the glory, to God be the praise. Good afternoon, Cynthia. I hope you're having a splendid day and all and feeling well. I hope you're feeling all the love and the hugs that we are sending out to, to you today. And if your family is present, we send them our love to them also, especially Miss Helen. That's right. <laughs> now, on behalf of the Board of Aldermen, who are John Noble, Curtis Cowan, Dwayne Holmes, Albert Smith, Tony Hillian, and Mr. Loris Hyde, and all the staff and citizens of the town of East Spencer, we send you so much love. Now, on behalf of the board, I'd like to submit this reading. Cynthia, the optimist, whereas we, you have touched so many people with inspirational positive affirmation of life through your scenes of light from your heart. And whereas you inspire us to shine our brightest light is to be who we are and to see the depths of love from your very core. And whereas Cynthia, you take your best and brightest photos of everyone. You not only want us to focus, but to look our best. You reach out gently and straighten collars, fix jewelry, scarves, and ties, wherever it may be disarrayed, so we look good. And whereas you have become the reason someone smiles, the reason someone feels love, you believe the goodness in people, and we do in you. And whereas Psalms 36, 9, for with you is the fountain of life, the light by which we see. Through you we see, Psalms 37 and 4. Take delight in the Lord, do good, and he will give you the desires of your heart. And whereas we should learn as you have to light a candle in the darkest moments of someone's life, be the light that helps others see is what gives life its deepest significance. Roy T. Bernard, the light in the heart. Now therefore, let it be proclaimed, Cynthia the Optimist Stoner Day in the town of East Spencer. We want to shine our brightest and best light for you, Cynthia, because you've shown us how. Respectfully submitted, this the 22nd day of March, 2020. Barbara A. Mallard, Mayor, we love you so much. Continue the fight. The city of Salisbury, North Carolina, to Mrs. Cynthia Stoner, Miss Cynthia Stoner, Salisbury citizen. Hello, sunshine. Congratulations on being honored by your church and your community for your faith in God and the perpetual gift of a personality full of sunshine, even through the rain. No wonder you are greeted with, hello sunshine. Even though you are facing incredible health challenges, you have done so by modeling your faith in God to your church, family, and friends. Whether you are cooking, traveling or dancing you reflect how much you love god to everyone through your radiant smile you are an inspirational woman because you have faith in god and you are full of humility and you brighten every room you enter you can count on god being with you through the rest of your life i am beyond honored to have been told you are being honored today for all you mean to your family 
your friends, and your community. I wish I could be there to celebrate with them. Enjoy your well-deserved honor. I wish you continued success and favor with God as you continue a life of seeking and honoring God. Warmest regards, Karen Alexander, Mayor. Sent, but also um, so many people uh, through the community uh, did some videos, and so we have a DVD uh, that we're going to send to you. Um, and 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 uh, on that DVD, it has different individuals, a lot of your church family um, that was on there, and so they were able to exp express their love in their own words. And with that, some donations were given, so we're going to send this your way along with your plaque. Uh, and so we just, again, just want to continue to encourage you. Uh, also, at this time, we're going to have a message of encouragement from Pastor Alice Perry of the Vineyard Worship Center in Salisbury, North Carolina. And so with that, we're going to ask that you open your tent doors wide, uh, open your hearts up, and be ready to receive thus what saith the Lord uh, to encourage your heart, to allow you uh, to find strength to make it through Amen. In this tough time. Hello, sunshine. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I bet you wonder, how did this come about? I just wanted to let you know that as I watched you day by day on Facebook, you always inspired me and encouraged me. Even though others were going through, you didn't mind sharing your journey with each and every one of us. So one day I said to my friend, Vicki Davis, I said, somebody ought to do something for Cynthia. Vicki went home and had a little pillow talk with Reverend Davis. And then Reverend Davis called me, and we got together and decided to do something for you. And then Corona got jealous. She wanted all the attention. But you know what? You can't stop God's plans. Right. So here's where there's a will, there's a way. And we're here today to encourage you. Those that are watching, I ask you to join with us as we go to Psalms 18. Psalms 18, 1 through 6. And it reads on this wise. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death come past me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. And the snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. And he heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. Let us pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, it's me, it's me, it's me, O oh Lord. And I'm right back calling on your name. God, I pray on today, God, that you will use me, Lord God. That we will impart, oh God, joy into uh, the heart of my sister, Lord God. That we will encourage her through your word on today, God. God, I'm not praying for a good message, but I want this message to be good for somebody. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Help me to tell your story. I'll be so careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. And say that it was you that did it all. In Jesus' name, I pray. So, Cynthia, on today, I want to encourage you. Through a subject that says, better days are coming. Right. Sister Cynthia, today we just stop by. And we ask the Lord to pause, amen, the universe for just a few moments. So that we can show you some love today. As I said, I often see you on Facebook and I see how you're always smiling and praising God through your storm. I admire your strength and your perseverance. Thank you for sharing your journey with us on Facebook. 
each time you came from the doctor or, or on your way to the doctor, you gave us a synopsis of what the doctor had said. No matter what it was, you had your sunglasses on and you had a beautiful smile that warmed the hearts of many. Proverbs 31 and 25 says, Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she will rejoice in days to come. Somehow I can't believe, to, I can believe today that you already know that, that better days are coming. But as Proverbs mentions mention your clothing, these are two garments that you wear so well. You never complain, you keep praying, you keep your integrity and your dignity, and you keep the faith. I see how you dress and press. You and Mr. Roy always looking giddy everywhere you go. Always looking nice. Wherever you show up. Always helping others. Always supporting others. At this gala, this banquet, whatever it is, you are always there to support others. But nothing and no garment you have ever worn compares to the strength and the honor that you so graciously possess. Because of your testimony, you've given others a reason to fight. And these garments that you wear today, Kato's has nothing on them. I thank you for sharing your journey with me. And today, my sister, I stopped by to encourage you to let you know that, yes, better days are coming. My brothers and sisters, I thought that on this afternoon, I would encourage everyone to hang on in there. In spite of what you're going through, in spite of what we're facing, better days are coming. Even if you're in the valley of the shadow of death, in your life and you feel like there is no hope, I'm here to let you know that your hope is still alive. Today you can feel hopeful instead of hopeless. If you have life and breath, you still have hope. If you know Christ is your personal Savior, your hope will never die. Even in the midst of this pandemic, quarantine and isolation, better days are coming. In the midst of devastation and divorce, better days are coming. In the midst of financial loss and a decline on Wall Street, yes, better days are coming. In the midst of physical setbacks, in the midst of disappointments, better days are coming. So I want to encourage you not to quit, not to give up. Children, don't give up on your parents. Parents, don't give up on your children. Teachers, don't give up on your students. Cancer patients don't give up on God. Employees don't quit because you can handle it. Members, when you feel like leaving the flock, don't quit. Preachers are contemplating on going in the tower. Churches are having to shut their doors, but we cannot stop. Better days are coming. Oh, my brothers and sisters, we need to hear some good news in times like these. But regardless of the difficult things and the difficult times, Regardless of how, of how awful things may be, may be and things that we are facing, there is some good news from the grace of God. And that news is we serve an able God. How many of you believe that, that, that our God is still able to do exceedingly and abundantly above anything that we can ask for things? Our ways are not His ways and our thoughts are not His thoughts. But God is still an able God. He's able to turn your heartaches into hallelujah. He's able to turn your disgrace into amazing grace. He's able to bring you from nowhere to somewhere. He's able to bring the delinquent to deliverance. He's able to take you from the crack house to God's house. Can somebody say amen? amen. We serve an able God. He's able to bring you from zero to being a hero. Yes. From being a nobody to somebody. Can somebody say able? Yes. He's able to be enough and more than enough. Yes. He's able to bring you from being a spectacle to a miracle. And he's still a miracle working God. He's able to bring you from being a sinner to a saint. Yes. He can take you from the bottle to the Bible. Somebody say able. He's able to bring you from pimping to preaching. Get a, get a witness in here. Yes. We serve an able God. Yes. In this text today, we see David is the writer of this song of praise. We know David had a lot of enemies. He spent many years in hiding. And one of his greatest enemies was Saul. And after God delivered him from his enemies, and especially from the hand of Saul, David wrote this song. You see, when we look back over our lives and we see where God has brought us from, in spite of where we are now, we can still say God is a good God. We can still say he's blessing us right now. In spite of our shortcomings, he's still worthy to be praised. Amen? David said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Sister Cynthia, I know the Lord has been your strength to take you through each day and every day. You've had to trust in the Lord. You've had to depend on the, on, 
the Lord's strength because you trusted in the Lord and in the power of his might. You had to trust in God. When I was a young girl, and I used to come home from school and we watched all the evening movies that used to be, amen, a, a, a sitcom that would come on TV and everybody knows it was Superman. Superman would come on in the afternoons. And I was rushed home to see Superman. And when it came on, they would introduce Superman and they would say, they would start off something like, he's faster than a speeding bullet. He's more powerful than a locomotive. He's able to leap over tall buildings in a single bound. And they would say, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Superman? But as I got older, older Sister Cynthia, I found out that there was another supernatural man. Yeah. A man who had the power to heal, set free, and deliver. Yeah. I found out his name was Jesus. Yeah. And with God on our side, we can be that Superman or that Superwoman. Yeah. Not because of our own ability and strength, but because of the Jesus that is within us. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Somebody ought to say yeah this afternoon. Somebody ought to praise God right there. That's why we ought to praise God for every time he has delivered us out of our circumstances. And he's delivered us out of our midst. We ought to praise God for the times he's intervened and gave us strength. When we didn't have no fight left in us. Yeah. Somebody ought to praise God right there. Yeah. Yeah. Our world, yes, is in a bad situation today. But I want to let you know that better days are coming. Yeah. If we can go back to the verse. David tells us, in my distress, I called on the Lord and, he, and cried unto my God. Yeah. David said he heard my voice. Out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Yes. I believe David was saying, The Lord heard my cry, and he pitied my every groan. He said, As long as I live, when trouble arrives, I will hasten to his throne. He said, As long as I live, I will hasten to his throne. What are you saying, Pastor Perry? We need to hasten to the throne of God. Amen. Nobody knows how long we got. He may come tomorrow. He may come tonight. We don't know the day nor the hour, Sister Cynthia. He may come for me tonight and you still be here six more months. But as long as I live, when trouble arrives, I will hasten to his throne. You see, today, we hasten in the Walmart. We hasten in the food line. We hasten into the grocery store. Everybody hastening to get this and that. But how many of you are hastening to the throne of God? From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. I will hasten to his throne because he said he will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. So when I get up in the morning, I got to get down on my knees, and I hasten, and 
good soldier. Yes. So keep on fighting, my sister. Keep fighting. Oh, yes. The fight of faith. Finish the race. There's a crown of righteousness that's waiting on all of us. Better days yeah. are coming. Yeah. When I was a little girl and I was growing up, the old saints used to sing a song. Oh, yeah. They said, trouble is in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Trouble is in my way. I have to weep and I'm at home. But I stopped by to tell you, Jesus is going to fix it for you.
wrong on the inside. Not you, Cynthia Stone. I'm talking about <laughs> the other, some other <laughs> yeah. Amen. 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 What an awesome word. Yeah. So at this time, amen, I want to thank Pastor Perry. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. I want to reach out to uh, Jerusalem Baptist Church and Pastor uh, Dr. David L. Bracken for allowing us to come. Amen. <laughs> I want to thank Mayor uh, Karen Alexander as well as Mayor uh, Barbara Mallet for the uh, proclamation and the declaration, amen, that we would be able to present this day to you, Miss Sunshine. Amen. amen. And so with that, amen. Amen. And then I want to thank everyone who came out and played a part to make this thing possible uh, and to make this program happen. And so with that, uh, Cynthia, my sister, amen. I'm going to leave the final words and the final saying, benediction, and prayer to your pastor, Dr. David L. Bright. <laughs> to my dear sister, friend, I want to say to you that you have certainly made me a better pastor. The time that we've been together, we've been allowed to share with one another. I think we were talking earlier about how we went on our first trip together. We just, I just kept following you around and couldn't figure out why. Well, I tell you what, we were just destined to be together. I, I love you. Love you for what you stand for, for what you represent. You've been a, a source of encouragement and strength to our ministry here in Jerusalem Baptist Church. And I want you to know that it's never going to be over between us. Because God has put us together that we can learn how to... To, to live together, to love together, and most of all, live eternally together. And I want to say to you, you be encouraged in the days that lie ahead because the Lord is the source of your strength. Never, never turn back and never doubt him because he brought you too far to make you even think for one minute that he's not with you every step of the way. We're going to continue to pray with you. Like I said, we're going to continue to walk together in love. And we're going to continue to grow together. And we want you to know that we love you. And I want you to know that I love you. I cannot express enough what you have meant to be this ministry, what you mean to me even right now, because we know this, we still have a whole lot of living that we will do. Right. Amen. It may not be like what, uh, as we know it now, but we know that in the days ahead, God is going to give us exactly what we need. So you stand firm and know that if God has purposeful things in your life, that's when the old enemy will try to come against you. But one thing about it, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Just know that I love you. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for everything that we've shared today. Lord, we thank you for the love that has been expressed. We thank you for the love of our dear sister, the life example that she set, Lord, because truly she is a child of God. And now, Lord, we ask that you help us to love as you have commanded us. We ask that you reach out and touch the families, Lord, that need to be brought together. And Cynthia, we thank you for your example and how you, you've extended yourself so that others can see what true love is all about. And now, Lord, we pray that you just go before us, continue to lead us, guide us, and direct us. Thank all those who come out today, Lord, to make this day possible. We ask that you feel, Minister Perry, Pastor Perry, back up with what she's poured out, Lord. Because she poured out of our hearts and given unto uh, our dear sister. And Lord, we pray that you continue to bless us, continue to lead us, guide us, and direct us. And now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may rest, rule, and abide with each of us henceforth and evermore. And all the people of God said, Amen. 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 Thank y'all again. Thank you so much, man. Uh, we'll, we'll give all these things to yeah. y'all. I guess. I'll let